Welcome back to Elden Ring, everyone. Here we are on Mount Gyalmir. Uh, you're probably gonna see the Elden Ring Explorations episode by now. I got some good stuff. I did a couple of level ups for my weapon and I also managed to level up quite a few of my spirit summons, which I think might be useful. We'll see. I mean, listen, I leveled up my Mimic tier I know, like, I know it's been nerfed, and I also kind of know that it's still pretty goddamn OP. So, I'm not sure if I'm gonna use it. Uh, I guess we'll just have to see. Anyways, in today's episode, I think we're gonna get going towards uh, this place, which is definitely the sort of main dungeon of the area. Hopefully, we're gonna get... Uh, sort of Stormvale Castle level dungeon here, because that's the type of shit I'm looking for. Oh, it's one of these things. Or is that just a giant? No, that's a giant. I thought it was that worm-faced enemy that was a boss, you know, that we faced earlier. Oh, shit. It has madness. God damn it. Cool. Cool, good start, great start. Uh, to immediately get stun locked into oblivion. At least that's not a long run back. You know, I'm just gonna say it. I'm really, really hoping that madness isn't like the main gimmick of this area. Because if it is, I'm gonna be pretty pissed. Alright. It's not easy to... Oh, come on, there's another one. Fuck. Is it dead? I think it's dead. Cool. I'm very close to being madnessed. Uh, so I gotta be careful. I'm just praying that once I actually enter the manor here. I like the castle. Uh, there's gonna be a checkpoint. It's gonna blow. No, it's not. No, it's not. Fuck, I hate this. I hate this stat so much. He just keeps spewing it. Cool. Spewing? That's a, a gross way to put it, but, you know. Okay, just die. Please just die. I wish this skill was a little bit faster, just a tiny, tiny bit. I think I'd use it a lot more. I thought I got a short bow from him, but then I realized it's probably from one of those puppets or whatever. Is this Kanehurst? The lighting is very Kanehurst y. <laughs> yeah, it is. Volcano Manor, cool. Nice painting, bruh. Very artistic. This is this is a hundred percent Kanehurst. Like, obviously. As in, like this game's equivalent. Oh, it's the lady from the loading screen. Oh, you look you look very threatening. These ones as well, because the the other guy, the you have no waifu guy, Var or whatever his name, he's also against the earth tree, isn't he? I'm not gonna join. Let this 
I don't know, man. I feel like I'm joining like every single cult in this game. Like I joined the Rani cult. One of these is just gonna end badly. You do have a very nice place. I do have to admit. I'd live here. Invaded by Inquisitor Giza. Oh shit. Oh, 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 <laughs> shit. Alright. He's using the what you call it. Fuck, what is that weapon called? In Bloodborne. God, it's really escaping my mind. I don't use it. The pizza cutter, aside from the fact that it's just a pizza cutter. Dealing insane damage as usual. I wouldn't be surprised if you weren't dealing insane damage. Oh, he's dealing bleed as well. Yeah, eat shit. <laughs> Giza's wheel. Logarius wheel, that's what it's called. That's what it's called. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There it is. 28 strength. Great iron wheel lined with flesh le flesh flaying blades. Devised for torture used by Inquisitor Giza. Yeah. Looks cool. Wasn't a big fan of the Logarius wheel either. Um, but I know it's very, very powerful. Uh, should I join this cult? I don't know, man. Was there a Melania dialogue? No, there wasn't. You know what? No, I'm not gonna join. In fact, I feel like using a rune arc, even though I'm probably gonna die. Yeah, see, this is, I think... I think this is the sort of, like, stat level people talk about when they say that after a while the scaling on Godric's Great Rune is just not worth it. Interesting. This very much seems like a dead end. Maybe I just missed something. Yeah, I'm leaving. Uh, there's like literally nothing here uh, in terms of like actual places to go. So I'm just thinking on what we might have to like do here because I'm gonna be honest with you that I'm a little bit out of ideas because this is definitely not it like if I could open my <coughs> excuse me if I could open my map I'd show you but essentially there seems to be this whole ass other area like down there you see, there's even like a castle there and shit. But the issue is... Like, if I ride out to the edge... That's a, that's a death drop. If I've ever seen one. So, we need to figure out a way... And this is, like I said, where I'm a little bit lost and confused we need to figure out a way to get down there without falling off I think that's gonna be yeah that's gonna be our task cuz I'm just thinking like I don't really see any other possibility cuz yeah, there's a castle there, and I don't know, maybe an entrance? Because this area is definitely not just this, this tiny part. This is, this is like a quest line or something. Yeah, now we're talking, now we're getting somewhere. 
Maybe you gotta go from that way. Oh, I see. You gotta go through there, don't you? Hmm. Let's check it out. See? Yeah. I think I think this is This is a possibility. We're like getting through the back side of this area or some shit. You can always tell when they start dropping fucking sides of grace left and right. All right. This this place does have a nice atmosphere to it. I do like it. Uh, so I'm interested in general on where this is going to lead. Yup, yup. And that gives us... Nice. Ooh. That gives us another flask. I think we're at a point where... I'm pretty sure it takes five. Five thingies for me to get a flask. I really thought that was an NPC. Alright. Yeah, screw you guys. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to speed this up a little bit. I was guessing something like that would happen. Now that's more like it. That is much more like it. See, now that I've got like this many... Honestly, now that I've got this many flasks, the thing I really, really need and I'm sort of missing is flask power-ups. Oh, it's still four. Now it's five. See, and I, that's what I don't have. I don't have sacred tears, and I kind of really fucking need them because at this point, with this much HP, it hurts a little bit. Oh, Dalsim! Shit, Dalsim is back. It hurts a little bit not to be able to fully heal. This this is one of the goofiest enemies, but I love it. Can't deny it's not unique. There's a lot of doll sims. A lot of these things as well. These are like pyromancers or whatever they're called. I do like how your horse just sort of sits there while you're attacking, sort of very passively. This horse don't give a fuck. I doubt it's even a horse, really. Alright. I was curious about this castle before. I have a feeling this is some Elden Ring exploration shit, but... Let's take a look. Fort Laid. Are they getting laid here? <laughs> what the actual shit? Smoke. This is like the Smoke Pyromancer. He just he is literally using Smoke's hammer. Sorry, Smoke. Prelates Inferno Crozier and just his stuff. Okay, you can totally get the rest of his set. It's this is gonna have some ridiculous strength. No, don't fucking. This is gonna have some ridiculous strength requirement. I can already tell. Forty-five, yeah. Colossal hammer, hammer with the appearance of roiling flames. Weapon of the prelates who lead the fire monks. Its heft represents the weight of their guardianship. It's most great hammer. Um, like, there's no other way to put it. That's just what it is. Alright. We're getting some doink cookbooks. Where 
are you? You're one of these. Like... Oh! He's the chest, isn't he? Nope. Oh, come on. <laughs> I'm gonna find you. Hmm. Interesting. Oh! There you are. I thought he was hiding as... You know. Well, that didn't exactly work out for you, did it? Yeah, sorry about that. Shit happens, bruh. Is this it? This might be it. Why did I get some scorpion talisman? Oh shit, yeah, I have a fourth slot. I'm stupid. Uh, mottled necklace. I had this. Gre great re greatly raises robustness, immunity, and focus. Boosts guarding. Uh, raises fire attacks, but lowers negation. Critical hits restore HP. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Raises dex. I think this might be. Yeah. Not that any of these matter too much, these resistances, but it does help. So I'm okay with I'm okay with this. Cool. I need to go down towards like this way. At least that's what it's looking like to me. Two Dawsons. Am I buff enough to fight two? I'm not sure. See, what you normally, I think, what you gotta do is prevent that attack somehow, like the spin. God, it's so easy to get knocked off of your horse. What were people saying that you need to increase your dexterity? To not get knocked off of your horse that much. But it's weird because I am raising my dexterity. Like, I am a dex build, so I don't know, man. Okay, you know what? Screw you. Lava? Of course there's lava. Ah, oh, shit. Magma worm. At least you can use your horse here. I fought this thing in the fucking tunnels and it was horrible. Okay, can? No, he cannot. Yeah, this is gonna be way easier. It's just gonna be tedious. You know what? Oh, you can! Interesting. Just gonna do this to speed up the process. These guys are gonna get murked so quickly. Get off! Get off! Bitch! <sighs> Whatever. Sometimes it's like... Having trouble getting off the horse. See, one of the things... Because this guy was horrible to fight uh, previously. But he's very easy. Uh, and this is something I've noticed where they put uh, field bosses in the dungeon sometimes. And it just doesn't work. 
because uh, the field bosses are well designed to be out in the field like in a place like this you put a an enemy like this into a tiny ass tunnel and you end up with a very frustrated Mr. Sketchhead whereas you have this guy out in the open what he's designed for to be used with your horse and you do not have a frustrated Mr. Sketchhead you have a very content Mr. Sketchhead. To be fair, Torn does not take a lot of damage from that, so I think it's very possible, yeah, just to ride across. We really are taking the backside entrance here. Cool. Some runes. I'm like, I was super curious. Like, where this all is all gonna end up. Because we are gonna have like a full area, right? I think so. Oh, this is one of those things, yeah. That you're meant to break. And it's Shaq, cool. These guys are having a bad time, to put it lightly. And just a tiny little area. What the hell is that? Oh, it's a bear! Mr. Bear, you're meant to break. You are meant to break this. I can already tell. Come on, Mr. Bear. Thank you. It's just a... Well, not just a smithing stone. It's a smithing stone six. Thank you, Mr. Bear. Very kind of you. I'm gonna have to, like, bleed you to death now. Jesus, you're fast. Come on, power of bleed. Do I still have that fucking... Yeah, I do. Should turn my little lamp off. Told you. Bleed too strong. Even against an enemy that has like a shit ton of HP. Like this guy. Who just doesn't want to die. Oh, you know what? I know how to hunt bears. 2000. <laughs> Jesus. Enemies get fucked up runes sometimes in this game. But that's a point I think I've hammered home quite a few times. A oh, tiny bear. Anyways. So what I wanted to say is... That I'm really curious where this is all going to lead to. Because it looks like I'm going to do a full... Like, reach around here. And... I still don't know where the entrance is. The lighting is very nice, though. Craftsman. Man, there are shacks right, left and right here. And ain't nobody here. I've been going for quite a bit, too. Hmm. And the Hermit Village, finally. So 
So I'm guessing that these guys like raided these fucking what what are they called? Demi humans. <laughs> You're beautiful. <laughs> nice. So you can if you see a uh, someone with good fashion souls. You can tell them they're beautiful. And there's a sorcerer here as well. Who I think, yeah, he's hostile. Slash. No, it's a, it's a he. Oh god. I got this, don't worry. It's like bullshit ass magic. I have your staff. And it's not very good. There's another one? Jesus. Easy. Yeah, this is gonna be easy though. Especially if you keep missing your... Yeah. This is like... This thing looks like Vicar Emilia from Bloodborne. Sure as hell doesn't fight like her. See, I can just out tank this, that's the issue. The camera sucks here, so I'm gonna, yeah. Even like the way it backs up is very Vicar Amelia like. Easy money. Oh, hello there. Um, Comet Azur. Cool. Well, we got somewhere. Primeval Sorcerer Azur. That's, I'm assuming, him. But then where the hell do you get into... Like, the actual area? Hmm. Through there. You get in through there. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna check that out. You have to go through the lava, don't you? Gonna go for Dex. Nobody's ever been hurt by Dex. Okay, so I, I had to look this up because I was running around like an idiot. And it's actually a lot simpler than you would think. Uh, you just have to accept to join. I don't know why this like sort of didn't cross my mind. It, it, it makes sense. Because you get a key. And once you got the key, you can open them doors. And once you can open them door... Is that you talking? Is that you? Looking forward to it, yeah. Okay. The tarnished. Brandish the spear and run him through the great serpent. That unspeakable monstrosity. We have our final boss, don't we? Serpent. 
It's gonna be the serpent. I got you, fam. Don't even worry about it. And uh, apparently, yep, this is it. Yeah, there is a secret passageway, which will allow us access. Yeah, again, I had to look this up because, like, now it makes sense. But I was so convinced that there was a interesting collection of enemies. Uh, I was so convinced that there is a way to get in through like, you know, just going around or some back entrance that I was like completely fixated on that. And that was a dumb thing, dumb thing to do, but hey, it happens. Still, hopefully we'll have sort of more enemies other than snails. Although I'm cool with snails. I really need to check out what else I can craft. I haven't crafted once again. I haven't crafted in absolute ages. Oh god damn it, you're yawning during Elden Ring. What the hell are you doing, Sketchhead? Hello there. Oh, it's one of these things. You deal a shit ton of damage. I was a bit caught off guard, I'm not gonna lie. Alright then, let's try this again. Yeah, this is the dude that was in the Ever Jail too. Like the first one. Guess all of these guys are gonna be showing up as normal enemies. All the ever jail enemies. I can jump as much as you do. So I'm gonna try getting out into the main dungeon or something. Unless this is the entire dungeon. Hopefully it's not. And then we can sort of wrap it up here I have been recording for quite a bit big reveal maybe yes no big reveal big reveal of course I knew it I know big reveal I know when it's coming oh this is actually pretty cool very Bloodborne-ish. Very, very Bloodborne-ish. Um, cool. We have an actual dungeon. I gu I'm guessing the whole point of this area is going to be to raise this bridge. Cool, 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 cool. What I'm going to go ahead and do is I'll wrap it up here. I want to thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Elden Ring. If you did... As always, make sure to give this video a like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications, or we can parkour on the roofs as well. Nice. Yeah, turn on post notifications, and I will catch all of you next time. Peace out, and goodbye.